welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to download images for, is from the web. So basically, I'm going to show you here, if I open up the simulator. And we open up our app, it's going to give us the URL, and then, so we can basically open up your URLs with images. So let's get started. I'm gonna get started by opening up Xcode as usual and then creating a new Xcode project. It's gonna be a single view application and I'm gonna call it image download, URL download. Just gonna replace it and you can call it whatever you want. Just, you don't have to call it I do. And so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do, since we're gonna be opening the URLs, we have to let the app know that we have to. So we're gonna go to App Transport Security Settings and we're gonna add it. And then click the down arrow, press an add, and then we're gonna put allow arbitra arbitrary loads. And then we're gonna select yes. So that means you can load any URLs. Now let's go ahead and we're going to go to main.storyboard and we're, we're going to drag in a text field along with a button that one is going to be open URL and then we will drag in an image view, which we have right here. Drag it so that it lines. And there we have it. Now we're going to add in the missing constraints. So then we will open up the assistant editor for attaching our outlets. And then, so this one will go to here, URL. This one will be an action, so we'll go down here, select action, open URL. This one will also be an outlet, it's image view. And then we will go out of the assistant editor, open back our tabs, and then we'll go back here. I don't know why it's showing those errors. But anyway, in open URL, we're going to have this code. With this being a view. So basically, we have a path that's URL.txt. And then we have a URL. Then we have data, which is from the URL. And then we have an image that's from the data. So it's kind of like a chain, as you would say. So it's giving us these er, really weird errors on this bracket. <laughs> I don't know why. So basically, if we run this, there it go away. Let's wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. So there we go. That thing's barely noticeable. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm gonna search up some random kind of image. In this case, my favorite food, cookie. So if I click on that and click on view image, copy that link and then I right click and hit paste, press open URL, there we go. So we see that works very well, actually. So let's right click, select all, delete. So technically this can work with any URL. So let's say we search a car. So it doesn't really matter.
So copy that, paste. Oh, looks like we didn't copy that. Select all, delete, right click, paste. This thing won't paste, apparently. Let's try it again. See, there we have it. So basically this thing, it can open up any image that's in the URL like this, but take for example, Google. It cannot open this image because this is this is entire URL. So if we go to, so if we go, if we say uh, HTTP Google, it will not display anything as you see because there's no image data it's only you HTML so anyway guys thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys bye